All right, day two here at uh, DevOps Days, and I'm here with uh, Christian Bacon. How are you, Christian? I'm great. How are you? Doing well. So you are CTO and founder of Sumo Logic. That's correct. Uh, what is Sumo Logic? Uh, we are a cloud-based log management solution. And so, how would you be? That sounds like a um, Splunk is the first thing I think of. How is it yeah. the same or different? Or uh, you know, it's it's the same point of departure, really. Uh, where we are different is that. Uh, you know, we are we are cloud-based, so it's 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 delivered as a service. Uh, the TCO is uh, you know completely different, and we like to say that we basically can save people easily, you know, two-thirds of the you know total cost. You know, they would have to commit to if they go with anything that's you know premise-based, whether it's Plunk or LogLogic or, or something like you know Arcsat on the security side. Simply because there is no there's no personnel overhead. You know, there's no hardware to deploy and manage. Um, there's no storage. These systems are notoriously uh, I/O hungry, uh, and uh, you know. So basically, you uh, you, know, you, you become a Sumologic customer by you know uh, paying us for the amount of data that you send us, and a little bit extra depending on how long you want to actually retain it. And there is no there is no other hidden costs there. Uh, there is you know no 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 staffing that's required to keep the system running. You know no hardware investment, anything like that. So that's one thing. Um, you know, the other thing is that, again, you know, we're looking at log management, we've been doing this, you know, uh, you know for more than 10 years now. Um, what has been established at this point is that log data is big data, right? Um, you know, there's, there's too much of it. It comes at you, at, you know, basically in real time, it's all timestamp data. You have to process it quickly. Uh, and there's also an enormous amount of variety in the data. There's no structure to it, necessarily. And um, what that means is that since it's a big data problem, that means it's, it, it's difficult to scale these systems because there's just basically too much shit. So, you know, having done this before in an on-premise solution, uh, we, we, we just spend most of our time helping people keeping the system running um, instead of actually helping them understanding what the system can do for them. And then that's really a big pain in the ass. And, uh, you know, that's the other thing. So, we, uh, you know, we, we, we have a what we call elastic log processing platform, you can forget, forgive the marketing term here, but what it really means is that, you know, we build a system that's cloud-based that can scale not to one customer's requirements, but to all customers' requirements, right? So, so you should never run out of juice, you know, when it comes to putting more data in, or when it comes to the response times you're expecting for running queries, reports, that kind of stuff. And then finally, um, you know, the way that we're different is that, you know, we put a lot of emphasis on actually making all that log data actionable. You know, what that means is that, you know, we have uh, a neat set of algorithms, for example, to summarize, uh, you know, a large variety of different logs down into sort of clusters, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, that basically can you know, take a hundred thousand lines of logs, a million lines of logs, let's say everything that has an error in it, and instead of you having to go to pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of stuff, uh, you know, we can we can boil it down to the original structure of the log. You know, we take out all the variable bits and we can say, hey, you know, this particular line or log, yes, it has been happening 800,000 times, but it's really the same line of logs except for the different values. And so that gives a little bit of an idea of, you know, how we think about using, you know, the data uh, and to actually, you know, help people gain, you know, more insight. Cheers, guys. And so where, where would you see your company coming going over the next, say, year? What are some of your goals either for the company or the product? So um, the company uh, got started in uh, 2010. Um, we have launched the company publicly at the end of January, so that's basically just uh, two months ago. Um, at this point, we're ready to sell the uh, product, um, the service. Um, at this point, you know, we are looking forward over the next year, you know, to grow the business. You know, we are not in our, we're not in the initial R&D phase anymore. Now it's about hey. Uh, you know, we need to make money in order to grow the business further. Uh, that's one side of it. Um, on the product development side, um, what we will continue, I think probably throughout the life of the company, what we will have to continue to be, uh, to be able to do is to continue to, to scale the system. We have a very, very neat architecture in place that's very modular, things scale independently and all of that. But, you know, as more customers come on board, you know, the engineering, you know, will continue to have to, you know, uh, you know, scale out the platform, and, and one of the things that we're doing is we actually run this thing ourselves. 
you know, so we are DevOps state here, right? And uh, you know, we have uh, we have developers. We have, in our case, we have no operations people. You know, I'm not calling it no ops, for, but uh, you know, we basically share the operations uh, responsibility ourselves. So we are on page duty. People get, uh, you know, they are on rotation for seven days, and you know, they take lots of pride in it. Actually, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a badge of honor to survive that. <laughs> um, you know, and. So, so there's, there will be continuous work on, you know, you know, it's, you know, continuing to make it sort of industrial strength, so keep it industrial strength, I should say. And, uh, you know, in, in, in terms of product, I think what you will see is a certain amount of added polish, uh, in, you know, in terms of depth of features, but, you know, more and more focus on, um, you know, the, uh, the sort of proactive, you know, variety of alerting where, you know, we can learn from the data that's coming in, baselining, you know, comparing it, um, you know, to aggregates of data that's coming in from different customers. And really, you know, you know, the idea is that, you know, you get one email from us in the morning that gives you enough work to do, you know, in a, you know enough prioritized work to do, uh, you know, for a day for really making a difference on your end. So it's really from, hey, if you want to dive into the logs and, you know, you know everything, <laughs> we're going to give you the best interface for doing that. But we think that that's sort of a 20% use case. I think the majority of people will not want to spend the time and they, they, they simply do too many things at the same time to be able to do that. And uh, so the proactive part is really, really uh, important. And, you know, since we have this unique architecture and this unique sort of, you know, uh, uh, you know, fundamental difference of being in the cloud and all the data coming to us, um, we can, we can, we can continue to apply machine learning techniques and what have you, uh, you know, to really sort of, uh, you know, gain insight from the data. Excellent, Christian. Thank you so much.